Hello and welcome back to the battle room. My name is Colin. So we have a new best of three with our opponent, Paint Cans. Thankful to them for doing this battle for me. I'm always trying to find battles. Um, so I'm excited to showcase um, another opponent with another team. This team's looking a little bit more standard, a little bit more uh, on par with the meta, I'd say. We're, we're seeing a lot of, uh, we saw some pretty crazy stuff. Like yesterday's battle was really crazy with Gliscor. But today we've got some bread and butter. We've got some Cresselia, some Scizor, some Heatran. Uh, sorry, some Hip on top. Good lord. Um, so let's let's figure out what we want to do here. I think rain does look pretty good, but obviously there's a Gastron. Gastron is a huge, huge issue. Um, a Pokemon we need to watch out for and a Mon that we need to be a little worried about. Our scissor goes particularly pretty hard here. Um, Hip on top and probably Togekiss are the biggest threats to it, with, along with Rotom Heat. But Rotom Heat is a little bit weird to bring against rain. Um, I think I'm going to start off with Ludicolo plus Latios. I'm going to bring Arcanine in the back, and I'm going to bring my own Scizor. So we're not going to bring our double rain mode. We're just going to bring Ludicolo for the fake out and for the water typing and grass attacks. And then we're going to bring these mods. This looks pretty good. And then Arcanine, I think, looks really, really good. Snarl looks amazing. Very special, heavy team. And also, we need answers for Scizor, because I think Scizor is a particularly annoying Pokemon. So we're going to see Togekiss Scizor lead, and we led Ludicolo plus Latios. So this lead is not great for me whatsoever um it's not a good lead but i think i can easily just double swap and be in a somewhat okay position here so i'm going to do this double swap into arcanine and scissor and i think these mons will still be good i think all the pokemon in the back do crumble to these pokemon so it's just a matter of navigating around the two that we're seeing right here which i think um our good pal arcanine does very 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 well so we're going to see arcanine come in and then we're going to see scissor come in so i think this is a pretty somewhat okay position for us um, even though the lead was like basically a counter lead in almost every form um, I could have pressed uh, I could press fake out but I don't think it's super duper worth um Tokus is gonna go for protect which is fine by me honestly beneficial to me and we're gonna see scissor go for protect as well okay a good turn a great turn honestly they did not play risky they didn't do anything too crazy and now I'm just gonna try to set up a free swords dance here and I'm gonna go for a flare blitz I'm gonna go for Snarl into Tokus and Scizor. This is really, really good, though. This is really, really good. I'm very happy with this turn. Um, the turn one went better than I expected. Whew. I'm feeling pretty solid here. Scizor's gonna withdraw. I didn't want to risk... Go I wanted to go for Flare Blitz, but we all knew it's not gonna stay in. We're gonna see Rotom come in, which is good for me. And we're gonna see... Let's see if this Tokus is Flamethrower. I think I'd like to find out the hard way here in game one. Um, otherwise, I think we can play our scissor a little bit more freely into Tokus in future games. But I do think Flamethrower Tokus is going to start to become the norm. I think Scizor is a really big problem for it. And we're just going to see an Air Slash in the Scizor. So that tells me no Flamethrower. Otherwise, it obviously would have went for uh, it. Would have went for it. Scizor does get up a free Swords Dance, which I think is rather rather good. Um, and I think I'm just going to go for Protect on my Scizor. And I'm just going to keep Snarling. Well... Half of me is tempted to go for, like, an X scissor onto Rotom and a, oh, and a Snarl. Because my gut tells me that Rotom isn't going to go for Overheat on this turn. And instead, is just going to go for a Nasty Plot to try and get ahead of the game. And we're going to see Tokus Protect here. And let's see, please be, a, please be a nice little Nasty Plot and free damage onto Rotom. This is a very greedy, greedy play, honestly. It is just going to be an Overheat, though. So I could have swapped into our good friend um, Latios and or... Ludicolo, but I think that's okay. I think this is an okay turn overall. I really wish I got the read right. Um, the Snarl Mist kind of sucked, but I, I think Scissor was obviously fainting no matter what there. Um, so it's not a huge deal. I think Scissor is going to go down. Um, like, the Snarl Mist isn't going to be a big GG's. Alright, let's go for Psychic into... I kind of want to just double tap to Kiss because it can't protect. Very little can take this combo as well. I think this is just a good turn for me. And locking into Psychic isn't the end of the world. It's pretty good. Um, I'm still a little bit nervous about the Pokemon in the back, but I think I do have the right Pokemon to combat this team. I probably should have been a little bit more um, conservative with my Scizor, but I think this is okay. So almost nothing wants to take this, and we're not going to see Togekiss switch out, which is amazing for me. It does a good chunk. No Citrus Berry means it's definitely probably going to get a KO. We didn't see a crit on the first turn. So that is something to note, is that we didn't get crit. Um, 
buy it so it could be a different item but i'm still gonna assume crit until we are proven otherwise and we're just gonna see another overheat <sighs> that screams specs to me because i there's nothing else that like it, it screams specs because i ludicolo could have switched in there but lanius was most likely gonna stay in so it's got to be specs rotom like to overheat and stay in like that it feels like it feels like a specs rotom to me Hmm. Rotom is also just like not a Pokemon I have to worry about whatsoever. Just because, um, you know, there is a. There, there is no Scizor. I don't need Scizor anymore. So I think we just Flare Blitz here. I think this is an okay turn. Rotom's going to draw into what? Like, this is a free spec Psychic. And we're just protecting Latios with our. Um, with our Arcanine here by going for Flare Blitz. Scissor's going to protect, but this is still a spec psychic. I think the momentum is shifting highly into our favor here. Because I think this is a 2KO no matter what. Oof, the damage was big. That was some good, good damage. Specs Audio is continuing to show me why I love this Pokemon so deeply. Flare Blitz goes into nothingness. That's okay. And I think I'm just going to go for Psychic again. And, ooh, will Gastron protect? I think I have to attack Scizor, though. Half of me is tempted to Flare Blitz Gastron in case the Psychic doesn't kill. But I don't want to risk, potentially, them, um, like, not throwing the game, but, like, risking the game on me doing something silly like that. So I want to try to make sure this KOs. Um, but Gastron does protect anyways. So that, that was an okay turn. That was an okay turn. I was a little nervous about that, that turn because I felt like I should go for the double up because I'm not sure if Psychic kills. And if it does kill, then the Flippets will connect and the Scissor Life will be good anyways. But um, I think I made the right play here. So now I'm just going to go for... This is a really easy turn. I just Psychic the Gastrodon here and go for Snarl. Um, I should maybe should have Flare Blitz Gastrodon, but Snarl should make it that I don't take much damage from Rotom. And I think Gastron will faint to the Psychic. If it doesn't, Snarl will pick it up. Psychic does pick up the KO. Because there's no point in really switching out Arcanine. I think Arcanine's in a fantastic position. Um, especially if it hits Snarl. We're even sitting prettier. I still have my big berry intact as well. Arcanine is just in a really, really positive position. Um, yeah, Arcanine is just eating it up. Arcanine is going to be the MVP of this game for sure. It just came in and just soaked all pressure away from my opponent with Snarl and Intimidate. And that's why you got to love this dog. I think the dog is might be the third best Pokemon. Um, obviously I posted a video. If you haven't checked that out, go check out my other video where I talked about who I think the two best Pokemon are. But I think Arcanine is a close third. I think the Intimidate is broken and it has a great supportive move pool. So I'm a really big fan of Arcanine. Um, I think this team could require some changes. I'm going to be doing a team breakdown of this team um, pretty soon, pretty shortly. So if you want to see the in-depth changes I would make, um, because there are a couple that I, I don't think this team is perfect. No team's really perfect. Except for my world semi-final team, of course. But I will be doing a breakdown of that as well in the upcoming days, honestly. I'm trying to post every single day, so there should be a team breakdown of this team. Um, which I'm excited to talk about. But we take game one. I'm really happy with that. I think at the end there, we, you know, we were we were dotting our T, dotting our I's and crossing our T's to take the dub. And now let's go into game two. I liked how it played out though. Arcanine was the MVP, and I expected Arcanine to do really, really big things for me. And yeah, Arcanine made that uh quite a breeze honestly game two here hmm i think i'm gonna try ladios plus um what did i have ladios plus um ludi last time it was a little weak to scissor but i don't think that matters too much really i'm gonna do the same lead because i think the lead is broken i'm just gonna run it back and see if my opponent changes anything so we're gonna see cresselia scissor lead into our Ludicolo plus um, Latios lead. So we didn't change it up and they lead Scizor again. I'm still kind of, kind of in a meh spot because of that. But I think it's fine. I really do. I think this is a relatively free switch into our own Scizor. And then a good old fake out onto their Scizor. The reason I'm not just switching into Arcanine is I really want to slow the pace of Scizor down. Um, and I want to make sure that it's not uh, setting up a free swords dance or anything. I don't think that we're going to take too much damage from this Cresselia anyways on the Ludicolo. So I think this is a pretty safe play. And I think Latios is really, really valuable. As we saw in the last game, Latios and Arcanine are probably my MVPs. So I want to keep them as healthy as possible. We're just going to see Protect from Scissor playing relatively safe. And we're going to see this Cresselia go for probably like Trick Room or something. I'm not really sure what it's going to do. 
It is going to go for Calm Mind. Oh, gosh. Calm Mind Crest is kind of the new meta on Crest. I think Calm Mind is a very, very good move on Crest, but I think it won't be a huge deal just because we do have our own Scizor here. I'm just going to do damage onto it. There's no reason not to, and I'm going to switch into my Arcanine. I need to do damage to the Cresselia. I don't want to Swords Dance up and have Rotom Heat switch in on me without damaging Cresselia. I need to prioritize dealing damage. Um, one good thing to note about Cresselia is it no longer gets Icy Wind. So Arcanine will not be getting slowed down, and I'll be able to spam Snarls until those cows come home. So Arcanine's going to come in. Scizor could still switch out, which I find it pretty likely to. I think they want to keep their Cresselia with their Calm Mind. So switching into Rotom Heat here would be a pretty good play for them. And we're actually going to see Cresselia just go for Calm Mind. So this might be like an SD or maybe an Excisor into Arcanine. I really thought Rotom was going to come in because this should be a free Excisor on a Cresselia. And then we should get another free one too. Because Cresselias don't normally carry Protect. Scissor's going to go for Swords Dance, which is not very fun if you're my opponent, Scissor, because I have this Arcanine locked and loaded, aimed at that Scissor. And we're going to go for X Scissor on a Crest. It does a little bit under half, and we're going to see Leftovers come through, which isn't ideal. Um, it's obviously designed to take two X Scissors, but I think this is fine. We're just going to go for... Oh. We're just going to go for X Scissor once again, and then we're going to go for Snarl onto, onto both of them, because I think Rotom is pretty likely to come in here. I could go for Flare Blitz, though. I, I should go for Snarl. I don't want to take a plus two Psychic. So we're going to see Scissor withdraw, which is expected probably into Rotom, right? It is, in fact, Rotom. And then we're going to see Cresselia probably have to take both these moves. I imagine a Psychic will come through onto Arcanine here. Um, but it will only be a plus one Psychic, because we did connect here. Which is very, very good. Arcanine, again, is one of our most valuable Pokemon. So I'm going to have to play this a little bit um, well with Arcanine. Because uh, I don't want to lose him. He's a good boy, and he deserves to kill the enemy Scissor for me. The Psychic didn't do much damage. We're going to get a nice X Scissor off on a Cresselia. It does hang on, but that's Flare Blitz range if I've ever seen it. So I think a switch to Latios plus an Arcanine Flare Blitz is pretty, pretty clutch here. Um, Latios and Flare Blitz. I, I don't see anything wrong with this play. In my opinion. Um, hmm. Okay, so Cresselia is going to withdraw, which means Tokus is taking a Fleet Fire Blitz, which is fine by me. Rotom Heat is like, the thing about Rotom, I think, in this matchup is it's imperative for them to bring Rotom. Because they can't beat Scizor without Rotom. But that means that their Rotom only beats Scizor, and it doesn't match up well versus Arcanine, Latios, or Ludicolo, which are the three that I'm bringing alongside my Scizor. So I basically get to force my opponent into an awkward position by bringing him on, and I get to just chill with my... Um, my little advantage here. So we're going to see Latios take some damage, which is a little bit annoying, but not a huge deal because now this Rotom is at minus two. And Tokus is in Psychic range if I've ever seen it, so I'm just going to go for Psychic into Togekiss, and I'm going to swap this Pokemon into Ludicolo because I want Fake Out Pressure next turn when Scizor ultimately comes back in, um, and I want to be able to deal damage. So I think this turn is just really perfect. It's looking like we're going to be able to cycle our Arcanine into a really, really positive endgame. Um, the minute my po my opponent starts losing Pokemon, uh, they are going to be trapped with this Arcanine, and their Scissor won't be able to last very long. Um, and they also, every time Scissor comes in, they have to risk taking free damage, which is not a fun time for my opponent. I, I do think I could have left Arcanine in, just Snarling or whatever, but I don't really want to risk losing it. I don't. It's, it's way too important to this endgame. Um, I could have Flare Blitz this slot, because it does go into Scissor, but I think it's totally fine. I don't want to risk Arcanine whatsoever. And we're going to see their Rotom withdraw or stay in. Rotom does opt to withdraw, which means I'll be able to grab it next turn with a Psychic from Latios. Because Cresselia is relatively weak here. Even though I hit it with two X's, or it still lived and it's still like causing me problems. That's why Cresselia is so damn good. Alright. So we're going to see this Leftovers coming through. I think Psychic should pick it up. I think, actually, we're just going to swap to Arcanine with this slot, and then we're just going to go for Scald into Cresselia. And I think that's okay. This position looks pretty solid for me, just because we will get the KO on a Cresselia, and we'll also position ourselves to threaten Scizor next turn, which is really, really positive. Because if they decide to go for the KO onto Ludicolo, it's not a huge deal at all. The only way this, I think, could go poorly is if they were to critical hit my Arcanine with Psychic. Um, but we'll see. Ooh! It's faster. 
it's faster than me so it's called my moonlight psychic ice beam is my guess maybe no ice beam but we are it is faster and it does get that nice nice heal off and we're probably gonna see scissor go for x scissor here or something of that nature lefties call mine okay scissor goes for sword scenes again not a big deal because we've got big daddy arcanine staring this this uh scissor down i think maybe i should have just went for psychic and just let my um Pokemon Fiend, but this Cresselia is way faster than I thought. Um, but I think we'll just go for Flare Blitz and Scald. And, well, that play actually seems kind of bad. I'm gonna go for Flare Blitz and actually, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna Snarl and Scald Scizor. I think that play is really safe because Scizor most likely will protect, but it might switch to Rotom Heat. There's no way it stays in. And this might allow me to take a Psychic and proc my Eye of Berry. Might be netting me more health than I started with. And we're going to see Scizor just go for Protect. But it also just lets Scizor Protect. Next turn, I'm going to Flare Blitz that Scizor, though. 100%. Alright, Snarl. We're weakening this Cresselia. It's not too scary for us at the moment. I mean, the Cresselia could get scary with a, a couple more Moonlights, a couple more Calm Minds. It could turn into a really, really big threat in the late game. So that is something I need to be prepared for. Something I need to watch out for. But at the moment, I'm feeling really, really positive about this game. Because this next turn is really, really good for me. Nothing can take Flare Blitz plus Scald. Rotom goes down. Um, Cresselia, or Togekiss goes down. And Scizor goes down. So I'm getting a KO next turn. Unless they get a double protect. That's the only downside. But let's see. <laughs> let's see. Scizor's going to go for Bull Punch and Arcanine. It's at plus one. It does way more than I expected. Woo! Ooh, that's Life Orb Scizor. Okay. We've not seen it move yet. Like, that was the first attack it's actually gotten off on us. So, that makes sense. But our big berry is healing up Arcanine. So, now we killed Scizor. Now, Arcanine is not priority number one to keep alive in this game any longer. Um, the priority is now Latios to deal with this Rotom. So, then Scizor can beat Cresselia. Those are the list of importance. <laughs> We're going to see a Psychic come through onto Arcanine. Oh, he clutched it out. We get this nice little Scald off on a Cresselia. Does it go down? No, it doesn't. That's okay. Arcanine living there was incredibly clutch because it means one more Snarl or it means a Flare Blitz on a Cresselia, which at this point might just pick up the KO. So this situation looks kind of incredible for me at this point. Whew, okay, I'm feeling, feeling pretty strong. I think it means a Snarl though. So we're gonna see Rotom come in, which isn't actually who I fully expected. I kind of thought we were gonna see Togekiss. But Tokus is kind of important for the late game, so we're going to go for Snarl here. And then I'm going to go for Scald into Mr. Rotom Heat, I think. I think that's our best play. KO the Rotom. Should just net us a dub here. Because um, Rotom is the only thing beating Scizor. And if I can get Rotom now, that means I just win the game. Because we know Tokus doesn't have Flamethrower as well. Well, no, we know. Unless they're making a read. But if they're making a read, I think they would have went for Dazzle. Rotom does show Protect here, which I didn't actually expect, but I think it's fine. I think it is fine. We're weakening Cresselia once again. We're keeping Cresselia pretty low HP as well, which I think is good. Because I think we do get to send in Latios next turn. We're, we're actually going to see a Moonlight. Okay, so basically that turn didn't amount to anything for my opponent. Well, it amounted to something, right? Because Cresselia is getting more HP. But it, it, it did go down to minus... Two, I believe. Uh, actually, I think it's minus one because I think it got one call mine and I snarled once. So the situation is still looking good. This is why Cresselia is so good, guys. Though, like, it is not dying. It is still there, which is not fun. Um, I think I will go for Snarl here once again, and I'm gonna go for tempted to Ice Beam. Tokus might come in. I'm tempted to just Flare Blitz the stupid bro. Helping Hand Scald it. I think we'll just Snarl again, and we'll Scald. That way they have to kill Arcanine, which is important. And I think it's fine, because um, there is no swap. That also makes it even better. Ludicolo has a very, very high natural special defense. So our Pineapple friend here will probably be able to live both hits if they decide to double it. Um, and we're going to see Cresselia go for Calm Mind. So Arcanine is alive for another turn. This Pokemon is at 2 HP and is still alive. Um, and they might leave it alone. We'll see. Scald's gonna come through. I am faster than Rotom. Rotom is gonna go down. Arcanine lives for two bonus turns. Just spamming Snarl. And again, it's not a huge deal because once um, 
once Scizor comes in, it will just be able to X Scizor Cresselia down freely because there is no hidden power fire. There is no secret move Cresselia could run to beat Scizor. Scizor just wins straight up. So this is looking really, really good. Tokus is going to be sent in here. Tokus is at half, which is good. Um, I think I think Snarl is still our best bet. And then I'm just going to go for... Uh, I kind of want to just scald the Cresselia. But I, I need to Ice Beam. Just If Tokus protects, that's okay. Um, just because... That does mean that Latios will be able to freely hit Tokikiss next turn, which is good. And we need to keep this Cresselia down as low as we can, just so that Latios isn't taking too much damage from uh, Cresselia's Ice Beams, like, if it has it. We're going to see Dazzling Gleam come through, so that means that Ludicolo will live the turn 100%, even though it crit Ludicolo. Um, crit Air Slash was the thing I was most afraid of. Um, I think Ludicolo will live Psychic as well, like, pretty handily, because Snarl Arcanine is kind of crazy. Oh, yeah, he does. The Pineapple King, Ice Beam comes through, Tokakiss does in fact go down, Ludicolo clutches it up for us. Ludicolo got two big KOs there, I really liked Ludi outside of Rain this game, he performed incredibly well, it just did what I needed it to do. Um, and now we're just going to go for Psychic, or for Scald and Swords Dance, um, no reason to do anything else. We want to go for Swords Dance one time, just so that we're able to get the KO onto Cresselia, um, so it can't just keep moonlighting off our X scissors, right? Like, because we were doing under half. So it's technically healing more. So we'll just go for one Swords Dance, and we'll lock up the game here, which is really, really great. Um, Scissor is going to checkmate Cresselia here. I think my team can struggle with Cresselia on, on occasion. As you saw, when Scissor wasn't on the field, this thing was just uh, kind of popping off on us. But um, they're going to go for a Freeze and a Scissor, but that doesn't matter because I, in fact, have a Lumberry. So even the Freeze win con is not... It guaranteed out of there. Luikol is going to faint to its own life orb. That is fine by me. Now we guarantee win because even the freeze win con cannot save them because we have a Lumberry. So now the Lumberry wasn't procced. It could get, we could get frozen this turn, but even then Scissor would prevail. Perfect. Got to play to your outs, but I believe um, Scissor's got this. Gladios comes in, ready to clean up house. We're just going to go for x Scizor plus Draco Meteor. We'll just Draco. If we get a crit, we'll just die. Um, but we do have Lumberry anyway, so there's there's no fear. No fear, Shakespeare. Gladios connects with Draco Meteor. I hope it crits just to truly flex on our opponent. Oh my god, it did. I should buy a lottery ticket right now. <laughs> I gotta go buy one. God damn, Gladios. Well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, thank you, Sam and Pancans, for playing with us. It was a fun set. Um, I'm about to go buy a lottery ticket, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Again, if you like it, please like, comment, subscribe. It helps me out a ton. Um, and then I believe tomorrow should be the team review. I'm really excited for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.